This is Dr Trevor Garnett coming to you from the 15th International Workshop on Plant Membrane Biology. Nitrogen and phosphorus are the most important fertilisers for cereal farmers in Australia and worldwide. They're the nutrients that are required most by plants and hence the ones that we have to add the most of to plants to make them grow well. We won't get uh, good yields without adding large amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus fertilisers. Currently in the world there's about 100 million tonnes of nitrogen fertiliser added to maintain cereal crop growth. Phosphorus is mined from the soil, so Nauru was uh, Australia's biggest source of um, phosphorus fertiliser, most of that coming from bird droppings. Um, but uh, nitrogen is actually fixed from the atmosphere. 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, but that's unavailable to plants. But uh, using industrial fixation processes, we can produce nitrogen fertiliser from this. Um, the unfortunate thing is that uh, it uses a lot of energy to do so and that comes at considerable environmental and uh, financial cost. Roughly 4% of the world's energy usage is fixing nitrogen fertiliser. So that's a huge impact. Peak phosphorus is similar to peak oil. Uh, we're running out and uh, the supplies that we've got left then become very, very expensive. You know, it's estimated that uh, in the next 50 years we'll need 150% more uh, phosphorus fertiliser and we have got less phosphorus fertilizer available and the quality of that fertilizer is becoming less. So we're going to have a huge increase in the cost of phosphorus fertilizers related to that. Nitrogen fertilizer is currently the biggest cost for Australian cereal farmers, even more so than fuel. Now that's gonna get uh, even worse in future, especially when you've got phosphorus coming in on top of that. And that's without uh, introducing the environmental costs of using nitrogen and phosphorus, phosphorus fertilisers. In Europe, currently, farmers have got to account for the nitrogen fertiliser that they use. So uh, that's going to become a lot more expensive, just the usage of nitrogen fertilisers. We're trying to get plants that uh, are better at using nitrogen fertilisers and phosphorus fertilisers. So they've got better nitrogen use efficiency and phosphorus use efficiency. And that means better plants, in that uh, they can take up more nitrogen and phosphorus from the soil but also plants that can use nitrogen and phosphorus better, so more efficiently, so that uh, you can get more yield with the same amount of nutrients.